Hey, I'm glad you're with us today. I am actually at Storyland, which is a park in New Orleans. Y'all need to come here. It's beautiful. And today I'm with my friend, Colleen Sally. Colleen Sally is from New Orleans, and she wrote uh, books about possums. Therefore, we have our possum with us. We also have Flat Foley with us today. So I'm going to read you this Colleen Sally book, E. Possumandus. E. Possumandus, written by Colleen Sally and illustrated by Janet Stevens. E. Possumandus was his mama's and his aunt's sweet little patootie. They just loved him to death. Look, all oh, his mama and his auntie, they loved him so much. E. Possumandus used to go see his auntie most every day and she nearly always gave him something to take home with him. One day she gave him a piece of rich gold cake. Epossumandus took it in his hands. He scrunched his hand up tight and went on home. See, there he is with the cake. <gasps> oh, on his way home, he passed Alligator. And Alligator asked, What you got, Epossumandus? Cake, he replied. Hmm. Don't much don't mu much like cake to me," said Alligator. There he is. When E. Possumandus got home, his mama looked at that fistful of crumbs and she said, "E. Possumandus, what do you have in your hand? Cake, Mama. Annie gave it to me." So he's showing his mommy. Oh, E. Possumandus, you don't have the sense you were born with. That's no way to carry cake. The way to carry cake is to put the cake on your head, put a hat on your head, and come along home. Do you hear me, Epossumandus? Yes, Mama. So by and by, another day when Epossumandus was busy as Annie, this time she gave him a pound of freshly churned butter to take home with him. So Epossumandus put it in his, on his head, put a hat on his head, and went along home. On his way home, he passed Raccoon, and Raccoon asked, What you got, E. Possumandus? Butter, he replied. Hmm, don't look much like butter to me, said Raccoon. It's kind of making a little mess. When E. Possumandus got home, his mama looked at him and she said, E. Possumandus, what have you got in that hat? Butter, mama. And he gave it to me. Oh, P oh, E. Possumandus, you don't have the sense you were born with. That's no way to carry butter. The way to carry butter is to wrap it up in some leaves and carry it down to the brook, and you cool it in the water, and you cool it in the water, and you cool it in the water, and then you take it up carefully in your hands and come along home. Do you hear me, E. Possumandus? By and by another day, when E. Possumandus was visiting his Annie, this time she gave him a sweet little puppy dog to take home. So E. Possumandus wrapped it up in some leaves and carried it down to the brook. And he cooed it in the water, and he cooed it in the water, and he cooed it in the water, and then he took it up carefully in his hand and went along home. On his way home, he passed Nutria. Just Nutria. And Nutria said, What you got, E. Possumandus? A puppy, he replied. Hmm, don't look much like a puppy to me. I was, mm. So, when E. Possumandus got home, his mama looked at that poor little bedraggled puppy and she said, E. Possumandus, what do you have in your hands? A puppy, mommy. And he gave it to me. Oh, E. Possumandus, E. Possumandus, you don't have the sense you were born with. That's no way to carry a puppy. The way to carry a puppy is to put the puppy on the ground, tie a piece of string around the puppy's neck, and take the piece of string and come along home. Do you hear me, E. Possumandus? Yes, Mama. 
Well, by and then on another day when he passed the monitors with this is Annie, this time she gave him a freshly cooked loaf of bread to take home with him. So he passed the monitors, took the bread on, put the bread on the ground, he tied a piece of string around it and took the other end of the string and went along home. On the way home, he passed Armadillo. And Armadillo asked, What you got, he possumondus? Bread, he replied. Hmm, don't look much like bread to me, replied Ar said Armadillo. Armadillo. When he possumondus got home, his mama looked at that thing on the end of the string and she said, E possumondus, what do you have on the end of that string? Bread, mama. And he gave it to me. See the bread down there on the string? Oh, Epossumondus, Epossumondus, you don't have the sense you were born with. You never did have the sense you were born with. You never will have the sense you were born with. Now, I'm not telling you any more ways of bringing truck home, and I don't want you going to see your auntie either. I'll see her myself. So, and Epossumondus' mama got her basket, but before she left, she said, Epossumondus, do you see those six pies cooling out there on the porch? Yes, mama. Well, Epossumondus, you be careful about stepping on those pies. Then Epossumondus went off to see Annie. And then Epossumondus was careful about stepping on those pies. He stepped right in the middle of every one. That Epossumondus... He gets in trouble no matter what. That's the end. Eddie Possumondus, what will he bring home? Thanks, y'all.